I really love it. For me, just to be in a studio, listen to this music, just move in a bit, it's going to be better than just like sit at home, mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, I practice really, I think, a lot. Three day, three times a day? One uh, time a day? Like, no, two, three times a day. Yeah, but it's not, as I said, just break a break and like once a day. So do you have Sometimes to stretch too. and stuff you stretch? and Stretch, yeah, gym, cardio. You yeah. go to the gym? Yes. Do you, do you break in the gym? No, I do like exercise, like workout. So where do you where do you train? Where? Breaking, yeah. No, in the gym as well, but I have a studio in the gym and like, some. Really? Yeah. Do people just stop and look like, <laughs> yo, there's somebody spinning in their legs in the gymnasium <laughs> over there? Killer Killer podcast. Killer Killer official dot com. <laughs> Street Culture TV. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Yes, yes, here we go. Once again, back in effect. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast. Live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be. You don't need to be anywhere else, baby boy, I tell you. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Uh, with 300, 400, 500, whenever you jumped in, a lot of podcasts for you to check out and devour. Um, you can also grab the television app free, download iPhone, Android for all your street culture sports. Whether it's mini docs, big docs, the mixes, all of the tourist podcasts, we're here for you. Sounds of the streets, or rather the movements on the streets. Our guest today is a lady that's travelled internationally as an international B-girl, finest, breaking's finest, um, and uh, a Nike sponsor, uh, Ukrainian-born, living over here in the UK, Stephanie inside the building. How are you? It, looks, it sounds so romantic. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thank you. Uh, my ways, my dear. How are you? What's going on? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for inviting me. It's really should be fun everyone (laughs) everyone that i meet says stephanie she was pregnant she had the baby next thing she's like an incredible powerhouse like what happened what's happened to you over the last few months nothing i just have a goal and they're trying to (laughs) achieve it you know what do you think it was that, because as I just mentioned, you, you, congratulations. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, mama in the house. Um, but yeah, everyone, everyone says it. They're like, sh- she's just all of a sudden, I don't know, maybe it was subconscious, maybe you didn't realise, maybe you didn't know, but you levelled up the moment you had your baby. Yeah, but you know, like it's, it's something different. It's when you feel in that there is something what you wanna do, like someone who you want to show, like who you are, and you want to do something for someone, not mm. just for yourself. I think you just find this like extra power, you know, mm. and you trying to be best and better for your baby. Mm. It's like it's new life. It's, really, it's really, it's something. Impossible, you know. <laughs> it's really crazy. So it's a mindset. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Has it, has it given you more versatility, like unlocking what's in your mind? I don't know, but you know what stopped. I think stopped me uh, to develop like before that. I was always thinking that, like breaking or like losing or winning is the most important in my life and if I lose I gonna like like I don't know something so bad happened in my life you know but now when I have a baby I know that no matter what happened if I lose like it's okay because there is something more important like you know my baby waiting for me at home Mm. like my family waiting for me and they love me like no matter what you know and uh, I'm just trying to relax I'm just trying to enjoy what I really do and it's like it's helped me to be I think more powerful like and better was it breaking? You sound extremely blessed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> you know, it takes a lot of people many decades to, to, to get to this place where you're yeah. at in your sport. It's, it's rare. Yeah. <laughs> do, you find, do, you, do, you, do you find a change of attitude in you reflecting 
on people's attitudes around can you see can you feel a difference in in your pre- in your presence now that you have this new idea no actually i don't really feel it maybe i'm not so focusing on what like people saying or what they thinking i'm just focus on like on my goals what i am doing and what i want to do what i want to achieve so no, I don't really feel something like different. And <laughs> it's crazy. So for those of you who don't know about Stephanie, yeah, she is so bad on the floor. It's crazy. I've I've had the privilege of seeing many videos beforehand. So I'm a fan first, <laughs> but but also seeing your presence on you know in the flesh and live, going at it, battling, etc. And I I just feel like for uh, for the for the new generation, there has to be these figureheads. Do you know what I mean? People that... Do you know what I mean? No. Okay. Uh, let me break that down simpler. People, young people need their heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes when they see someone do something really on point... Yeah. That that sticks with them. And I feel like for your age and generation, you're that next person, I feel. You're yeah. one of them few people in this generation that I think people will get. Yeah, I hope so. It's really, it's, it's good. Um, you know, I see how, like, before I started breaking, of course, I had the, the big girls who I wanted to be like, and uh, like Ukrainian big girls especially. And I never saw, uh, well, never saw that I can be that person, you know, because, for example, I've been in um, Spain, uh, yeah, in Spain for mm-hmm. the, the European Championship, and the, some little big girls from Ukraine, they just came to me and told like, oh, we are like, we're fun, we are fans, we want to like, dance like you, we're always watching your video and so on. And for oh, me, man, it was cool. like a special moment, you know, I, like I never saw that it's going to happen with me, you know, yeah, yeah. and I really want to share like with like, what I have with the young generation and it's it's amazing. That's the coolest thing because we were all kids once that had our fans. Yeah. Tell me about that time growing up as a as a young girl getting into breaking. Uh, I, from I the started, beginning. Let's yeah, go from the I started beginning. to break in when I've been fourteen, so I can say that I've been like super young. But um, but yeah, you know, I, I started with um, another style of dance. I've been uh, like I, I dance classic style, mm-hmm. you know. So it was like completely different uh, for me, and I wanted because I really like hip hop culture, especially music, and I wanted to try something like what I like to hear what I liked to do, like something more like in the hip hop culture, you know, mm-hmm. but in Ukraine, we didn't have uh, so much information and uh, I didn't have internet at that time or computer and I, I didn't really know what's going on, mm-hmm. like, and especially in hip hop culture. And um, yeah, and I just saw like on the street, they, they, it was a competition in Ukraine. It'd, be, it'd been really big competition called Sneaker Surbani. It like, so similar with uh, Red Bull BC One, mm-hmm. uh, but from sneakers. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and I saw actually big girls battle uh, there. And for me, it was like it changed my mind. You know, I just I saw something like really cool, and I decided like, yeah, this that's it. This is what I really want to do. What nice. I want to try. And I tried just ask my friends, maybe someone know where to go to mm. like to break. And I find guys. It was actually the people who practice just outside on the street. Mm. They watch some videos and they try to like to learn something by themselves and try to share with other people who wanted to dance. Mm. And yeah, I started with that guys for like for a year, and after I found my coach. Yeah, so you got a coach as well? Yes. Um. See, these, these big girls <laughs> and big guys, they have coaches, fam. They have coaches. Yeah. This, I, this isn't the first time I've heard this. That's so alien to me. Is like, is, you know, obviously it happens now. It's part of the course, right? It's, it's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Having a coach. And I guess maybe being around with mixed guys and girls pushed you into scenarios battles that you wouldn't normally have yeah that's cool 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is cool. What kind of um, what kind of music were you listening to back in the day? Um, I listened like uh, that day the, the most popular like hip hop uh, singer like Eminem and like Fifty Cent. You mm. know what? Like everyone listened, and like, we didn't know a lot about like old school hip hop. Mm. You know, because like no internet, no information. But yeah, but this is what I really like. Like. I want it, I want it. Because I danced, but different style and different music, like classic music. And I didn't feel it, you know. I mm. wanted something more, like, energetic. <laughs> yeah. So you, your family were into uh, classic music or was that just... Actually, my family, my mom and dad, they really loved rock. Nice. So like Metallica and something like this. Come on. <laughs> So I don't really remember how hip hop came to my life. Do you like do you like rock metal? No. It's pretty full on, isn't it? You could have break to it. No. <laughs> but um but um your real name isn't Stephanie, is it? No. So your real name is Anna. Anna. Yeah. Big up all the Anna crew. There's nothing personal about your name going on around here. <laughs> but Stephanie is a big fan of who? It's not a big fan, like it just came, stick to me because of uh, the singer Gwen Stefani. Wait, yeah. explain that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you weren't a big fan, what, what happened? <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, actually Gwen Stefani, um, she'd been in a, like, as a rock singer, yeah, mm. in a rock group. Scar group, yeah. Yeah, but after she switched like the, uh, the music, like her style of music, I mm. think it was the first song... Uh, like hip hop song mm. about the girls, like mm. bad girls, yeah, something. Girl. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah, and this song, what I really liked it. I watched the video, and it was like so, so cool girls, like in a hip hop style, and it was so this choreo, like hip hop choreo. It was really amazing, and I really loved it. And I downloaded the. Um, this song in my mp3 player mm -hmm. is it dynamic back in the and day yes, mp3 if yes you know. it was like yeah. one of my first <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah i just listened just this song all the time mm. like like all the time and my friends who have been like like hung out they started to call me like steph anya because i'm anna and they started to call me Stefana. Ah. Yeah, so it, it was just like my nickname with my friends. They called me Stefana <laughs> and because I listened to this song. And when I started breaking, it was my first battle. Mm. Uh, my coach asked me, so how you want to do, you have a nickname, how you want to be like a big girl? And, and I didn't stuck. know, yeah, I didn't know what to say. I just saw like my friends calling me like Stefana. And they uh, put the name as uh, big girl Steph. But Steph is didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so someone after just wrote Big Old Stephanie and that said Stephanie staying with me yeah. <laughs> for fourteen years. It's Even funny. more. <laughs> it's funny how it sticks, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. You had no intention. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but so many friends of mine they don't really know that I'm like my name is Anna. Mm. Everyone thinking that I'm Stephanie, but yeah. I am. Um, <laughs> I toured Ukraine. I went. To, I did some shows for MTV. Yeah. Out there, I love Ukraine. I really? have such an affliction. To, well, I went there and partied for three days. You know, you get to know people and environments when you're partying in, yeah. in a place for that long. Um, and I have such a, a warm feeling for uh, Ukraine. And uh, you know, with all the things that are going on in the world. Um, which I did want to touch with you on because this mm -hmm. is a, it's actually it's actually quite a serious um, conversation with regards to for b girling yeah. and how you can elevate in your your career. So it'd be good to touch on that just so that people are up to speed with what's going on uh, in Ukraine. Um, no, more so because that's that's public. That's publicly known. But from a point of view of you being a part of the Olympics and what threats that might have on you being able to compete? Uh, you know, I'm not really like sure what's going on with it because we're now in the, like, in the middle of, we don't really know if we're gonna take a part in the Olympic because if uh, they decided to uh, allow Belarus and Russia to take a part, mm -hmm. so we are not able to take a part in the Olympic Games. So it's really difficult uh, 
like point for me because I really doing a lot for being a part of Olympic and um, yeah I'm just trying to not think about this because like, I can't do anything like no one yeah. can do anything actually so yeah just everyone hope that it's not gonna happen yeah. yeah is that something that because there must be other I mean you're a superstar <laughs> you're, a fuck, you're a superstar <laughs> I know this and I don't think I'll just get this clear. I don't think Olympics, you doing it or not doing it, will change the course of your success in the hands of the gods, really. Yeah. It's really hard, isn't it? It is. It is. But, you know, so many really bad things happening yeah. nowadays. So. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, but you've lived in London for a long time. Uh, for five years, yeah. Five years. Yeah. You're a citizen here. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be. <laughs> you definitely yeah. are. My daughter, she's British, so. <laughs> How cool's that? Yeah, it is. <laughs> she's she's fully British. Yeah. Um, you're integrated with a family. Yeah. That's mad. It is. <laughs> um, do you ha do you suffer from getting out of the country and leaving uh, your baby? Like, do, what's what's on your mind on the battlefield when it comes to be be girling? What do you mean? Well, if you if you're gonna leave your baby at home, leave yeah, to go okay. to go to b battle. To, yeah, to go to LA okay. or Tokyo or Dubai, and you're break dancing. Yeah, like how do you how do you focus in your head about the the the, the journey? Actually, it's just because my baby is staying with my husband and my grandma, and uh, I know that they doing everything to like feel her like uh -huh. good, and they love her so much. And yes, so I'm sure that my baby feeling the same way with them mm. as with me. So I'm really like focusing when I'm traveling. I'm trying to like change like a switch mm -hmm. and focus on the battle. This is so important. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I prefer to travel by myself. But sometimes I'm traveling with them as well. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like my own team, supporting team. So it's, ooh, it's, ooh, it's, ooh. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nike sponsored. <laughs> yeah. Nike sponsored. Like, did you ever think that that was going to be the case with you, Stephanie? Did you ever think to yourself that it would come this far? Uh, actually, I had a dream, and it's so funny because uh, it's it's really funny story because uh, my husband he came to UK f at f first, uh, and after it bring, brought me here, and um, when he just first time came to London, he knew that I love Nike so much, so much, mm -hmm. and he came to London. He went to the Nike town mm -hmm. and made me the video like a video like this in the inside of the store and it was some posters in the store with some other girls like just like a, like Ed Edwards yeah and he showed me look how cool it is like how cool in there and i watched this video and I, i've been thinking like okay one day i gonna like my photos gonna be there <laughs> like cool. i really wanted it i i watched this video and like i saw these Cool girls there, but I was thinking, no, I'm better. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I, I had to be there. <laughs> I want to be there. Yeah. And it's really funny because when, uh, like, my uh, like first shooting with the Nike and they put my photos inside of the store, I went to that store and I was thinking, like, come on, I've been thinking about this for five years. I've been thinking about this and here, here we are. <laughs> so, you know. Wow. Yeah, so I think that uh, if you really want something... So you have to imagine it. Yeah, imagine it. So you imagined Definitely, you yeah. so you imagined the whole journey. Yeah, but I didn't think about the sponsorship, but I've been thinking that somehow I gonna be like with an Ike, like something gonna happen, you mm. know. I just didn't know about the sponsorship because we we haven't been a like professional sport, yeah, yeah. you know. So no one been thinking about the sponsorship, but something, yeah, something. I've been thinking that something gonna happen. It's so <laughs> so incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> like go through the day in the life of being Stephanie. Like outside of the parenting, like how much do you have to train to be a Nike athlete? 
I actually practice a lot, uh, to be honest. And how, how many times a day? Uh, times. It's, it's a difficult question. Like maybe like four or five hours, but it's not just breaking. So I have uh, different uh, like training programs. So I have I go to the gym and I do the cardio and the breaking as well. But I'm like every day I'm moving, mm. and it, it's actually not so clever because sometimes your body need the rest. And um, sometimes I really overtrain, but I can't. You know, I feel it. I I need it. What does overtraining uh, feel like uh, for you? For example, you wanna go for practice, you can't, but you can't move because all your body is in pain. You know, Aching, yeah. yeah, you can't push yourself. You can't. You have no power in your legs and your arms, and you're just wasting your time. You know, it's better to chill, to rest. Just like enjoy, it, do nothing. But I can't. I really love it. For me, just to be in a studio, listen to this music, just moving a bit, it's gonna be better than just like sit at home, yeah. you know. But yeah, I practice really. I think a lot. Three day, three times a day. One uh, time a day. Like no, two, three times a day. Yeah, but it's not as I said, just break a break and like once a day. So do you have Sometimes to stretch two. and stuff? You stretch and stretch. Yeah, gym, cardio. You yes. go to the gym? Yes. Do you, do you break in the gym? No, I do like exercise, like workout. So where do you where do you train? Where? Breaking, yeah. No, in the gym as well, but I have a studio in the gym and like, some. Really? Yeah. Do people just stop and look like, <laughs> yo, there's somebody spinning in their legs in the gymnasium <laughs> over there? Yeah, but in my, it's so really comfortable because I have a gym just next to my house and in the first floor there is a two studios and at the second floor it's a gym. Yeah. So I can go there like to do whatever I want, you know. In the morning I go to the gym, in the evening I go to the studio, so it's like my own like practice spot. <laughs> what do people think when they see see you so publicly I have no idea what they think it actually. <laughs> Does it ever, do you ever think about yeah, it? Yeah, but always watching in the window and like, what, what, what is she doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. Do you do it on your own? Yeah, I do. Like most of the time, yes. Before, uh, I practiced with the, like with everyone, mm. like uh, like London mm -hmm. people, b-boys and b-girls, but now I have a baby and because everyone practiced quite late, around mm. like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Hey, but I got time for that. Yeah, so this time I actually go to bed because my baby goes yeah. to bed. Yeah, but in a so, way that's good for your health. Yeah, and good for it's, for me it's better because I, I'm practicing like in the morning and after in the evening like uh, 4 p.m., like till 7, you know, and after I can just rest, chill and sleep good. And yeah, because like no one want to practice as early. But no, <laughs> it's starting to make myself. sense. This, this is starting to make sense because with that discipline, of like having a baby, yeah. you have to fall in line yeah. with what the baby's times are. So even getting that extra few hours sleep yeah. gives you an edge over the competitor. Yeah, true. <gasps> Th this, uh, this is the answer you ask me oh, how. <laughs> how <laughs> the power's here, baby. Wow. <laughs> that changes everything, doesn't it? It is. Not like everything, but, but yeah, a yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny how you. <laughs> there's some mums out there that just get tired having kids. You get tired still breaking. <laughs> yep, I'm breaking. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> who, you, who who are your influences? Who do you look up to? Hmm? Taken. Who do you? Who are your influences? Uh, breaking. Who do you? Uh, who are your heroes? Breaking. Yes, to be honest, I never had a hero. Like I never wanted to be as like someone. Like I will, I like everyone, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, because uh, all the b boys and b girls are so different, and they have a different style, and I like uh, like everyone, like a piece of everyone, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, to be honest, I, I never. I never could answer the question, who's your favorite, like three b boys and three b girls? Mm -hmm. No one. Mm -hmm. It's like, impossible, isn't it? No, I don't know. Like, there's so many really good b boys and b girls, and I can't just pick. Just few. Is there, any of that them? You've, is there any that you've kind of recently seen um, that you're like, oh, th that signature move, yeah. that thing they do, is so good. Yeah. You know, is there anybody that has a move that you think, oh, yo, they kill that? 
No, I don't think so. Like when I go, for example, for some event and I want like watch the battles and I watch some crazy moves, me like oh, okay, this is the move. But it never been like okay, this move really dope. I wanna go and try it. Mm. No, I don't know. No, this is never, what never felt this. I know maybe something mm. wrong with me, but <laughs> no, 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 no. But I know, I know, I know that feeling. It's it's when you're. It's when you're naturally good at doing something that you actually defer from... Uh, I did that with beatboxing. It's not really in your interest. It's not in your interest to be overly fanatical, overly in love with other break dancers and their yeah. moves because you're so doing you. Yeah. Yeah, but for me, like, I always like change my mind about something, you know, because, for example, ask me a few years ago, I could say, okay, my like favorite big girl is uh, big girl is Ami mm-hmm. because she's crazy with her power yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like <laughs> transition and stuff. And for example, Shaggy Kicks, he's yeah. so powerful. And but now I don't think that uh, this is something like the best, you know, yeah. when you're doing some crazy moves like power and stuff. I prefer to dance. Mm. I like music. I like to play with music. And now I I would like say that for example if you know the B boy Kuzia from Ukraine, mm-hmm. I prefer his style than uh, Shaggy Kicks. Because he's dancing, yeah. he's like playing, he's like you never know what to expect from yeah, him. That's you right. know? So yeah. Quite spontaneous, isn't it? Yes, he? yes, yes. It's interesting to watch. Because mm. you know, like, okay, Shaggy Kick's now gonna go and like do some like, yeah. crazy stuff and every time the same, like, move, 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 move. But Kuzia, no, he's playing. He, you never know, okay. Now he like making some different move mm. and I never saw it before, you know. Do you ever <laughs> find yeah. like, uh, you know, skateboarders, skateboarders yeah. suffer the same sort of problem? Not that this is a problem. <laughs> this isn't a problem question. <laughs> Uh, do do you feel like the older you get, the better you get, but then with age comes injury? Yeah. That's hard, isn't it? It is hard. Yeah, it is hard because and it's actually so sad because we get in the experience, mm. you know, we like with the time, we like, I think that, okay, now I know a lot, I can use it, but... My body don't really want to do it, mm. <laughs> you know, because if uh, even in my 14, like my coach told me, okay, you want to try like jump from arm to arm or from arm, I don't know, to head. And me like, oh, okay, I'm going to try. But now when I want to try something, I'm thinking like, okay, if I'm jumping now, I can injure myself or I can break <laughs> something and I don't really need it. So I don't really want to try it, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Now it's like the fear sets in as you're old, you get older, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, when I was in Tokyo to see some of the big boys and big girls that were insane. Yeah. The levels are crazy. They're crazy. Yeah, it is, but um, I don't know. Maybe like for example, Japanese b boys and big girls. Some of them was nearly like forty. 42 years old and mm. they still do some crazy power mm. and when I watch them I'm thinking okay maybe I have time mm. maybe it's not because of my body and not because I am getting older maybe just because we're thinking that mm. okay I'm so old thinking. yeah yes, yes. I can't do this and that but no I don't think you can do anything yeah, yeah. Anything. it's, anything. it's the, the the thinking yeah is the the biggest cure yeah isn't yeah, it true yeah yeah, very true. Um, is there anything that you would fear the most in a move where you'd say to yourself, yo, I can't, I can't even think differently. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't afford to do that now. Why? I'm asking you. Me? Is there anything? No, I don't think. Really? Yeah, because I know that see, like, if you have a really healthy lifestyle, uh, if you want something really like so much mm. you can achieve whatever you want it's you know some people has a really big problem with their health and doctors saying like okay you're never gonna be better mm. and they just deciding that they don't have this problem they, they are super and they healthy fix, yeah, and right. it's just uh, yeah it's a miracle mind happen, ever matter yeah. yeah mind ever matter so 
Yeah. Right, going back to the day in the life of Stephanie, because we're, we're here. Um, health, eat, food. Yeah. What, what do you eat? So if you're a Nike athlete, <laughs> if you're an Olympic athlete, what do you eat? Why are everyone thinking that if you're an athlete, you have to be like super strict with the uh, diet and stuff? Tell me otherwise. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I had the time actually when I've been super strict with my food. I count all the calories and mm. stuff uh, like a protein and blah, blah. But now I just know that I have to eat good to be strong. <laughs> you know, I don't eat like some like uh, fast food because mm. I know that it's gonna I gonna feel bad in my stomach and it's gonna be hard to practice, you know, and uh, I'm gonna feel bad after that. Uh, so I'm trying just to eat good food, mm. but if I, I really want to eat something crazy i don't know <laughs> well, you will, if, if you do though you will yeah i will yeah. yeah yeah but i'm trying just to be careful i prefer to eat like uh, uh, fish like good they like get home mm. then go to the mcdonald's for yeah, example yeah, you yeah, know yeah. So, or chicken yeah. things like that yeah uh, i don't really eat meat like mm. red mm. meat it's not some of like religion stuff it's uh, more because um I used to have injuries. It was really bad, <laughs> and I watched so many like videos and mm. movies uh, about the other athletes and like how how they deal with the injuries. Mm. And uh, yeah, I found lo- so many information about the meat. It's really like it's difficult body to recover if you eat meat because your your body focusing on like. Uh, like deal with the meat mm. then recover your yeah, body you know right. i've heard this before <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, because it's too heavy for yeah. your stomach and yeah yeah so i just tried to like i stopped eat meat and i really saw that it, it's it's helped me yeah. it's helped me to recover really? yeah i started to sleep better i started to feel in bed like feel bad after that so i just decided for myself that i don't really need it and yeah feel good yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't eat meat. I, I still ain't get a good night's sleep. <laughs> you should seem like, even with a kid, you're so chilled. <laughs> yeah, I know. You should chill. Yeah, I enjoy it, you know. You don't let anything phase you, do you? Yeah, I, because I never thought that it's something like uh, I'm getting ill, you know. No. I, I always thought that it's okay. It's just uh, like another part of my life and it's going to be fun. You know, it is fun. It's like a poker face you have, though. It's this kind of face of... Because that, <laughs> yeah. that fears off competitors. Yeah. Because they can't read you. <laughs> Why do you think that? Because you're chilled. <laughs> you're just super chilled. Yeah, because I'm honest. I'm not trying to show that I'm chilled, but I go in home and, oh, my God, my life is crazy. Mm-hmm. No. I have really big support. My husband, he's the, doing exactly the same what I do. What's his name? Uh, Dennis. Dennis. Big up, Dennis. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so if I need rest, mm. if I need to go somewhere or do something, he's always supporting me. And like, okay, I'm going to be with a baby, I'm going to do everything. And Or if I need to sleep, I'm so tired after practice. Mm. Was he's feeding her, so, yeah. So, it's a win-win. Yeah. <laughs> Talking of wins, so uh, this week is the B-Boy Championships, yeah. Kentish Town. Are you going to be there? Yes, I will. Are, are you competing? <laughs> I am. This is a big. This is a big event. Yeah, it is. I really love this mm. champ. So, uh, how are you feeling about it? Good. Always good. Like I had a dream. I remember when I lived in Ukraine. Mm. I had a dream to be in a, like UK champ because I watched all that video. But for me, it was like impossible to go, especially for Ukrainian people. It's really hard to go to UK, mm. like with the visas and stuff. And I remember when I first time just came to UK and it was UK champ and I've been in the final. Yo, for mm. me, it was like a, like something impossible, you know. How could it happen me, like to be in the final in UK champ? You know, so yeah, it, it's really cool, a cool feeling. I, I have really this nice feeling about the UK champ. Mm. And the last year I've been like four months pregnant mm. and I've, 
like been in the top eight big girls and be like, what? <laughs> How is happening? Explain happen? that one more time. <laughs> so you were four months pregnant. Oh, actually, five. Actually, UK champ would have been, I think, five, four or five. And years. you were breaking Yeah. with a five-month-old baby? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it is. You just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just they didn't stop to practice, like, just for a few months, mm. first few months, because it's, like, the time when you have to be super careful with mm. your body. And after I just started to practice same way as I always did, not as crazy, of course, um, trying to try to be careful, but still, yeah, why not? It just blows my mind, man. It blows my mind. Well, the, the stabilizers are off for this week. You're going to be going in at the champs yeah. with all your energy. Yes, I am. Finally. <laughs> yeah, finally shackles off. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, big shout out to Rob as well for uh, hooking it up. Um, what's the future looking like for you, my dear? Oh, so loud <laughs> question. Um, I want to be in Olympic for, for me, like step by step. Mm. Like now, Olympic Games, this is the main goal. And I'm trying to focus all my power and energy on that. Mm. So, yeah. Keeping a good positive energy on the best result possible yes. with the Olympics. <laughs> Can't ask for anything more than that, can we? No. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank You're a legend. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> Roll on, V-Boy Champs. Right, Killer Keller Podcast. Our lighting was out of fashion. Be shout out to all the B-Girls and B-Boys out there. All right, Stephanie tells you so. Hold tight. Yeah, sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what I mean? Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>